The Syrian government is moving quickly to take advantage of ceasefire to complete a process of national reconciliation with different regions throughout the country. Cities and towns that sign on the national reconciliation process are required to hand over their weapons. They then receive security from the Syrian government. Today is a time of real reconciliation. Everything that we have done until now was in preparation for today. In spite of all the work we have done towards reconciliation in getting 50 towns to sign on around the country, 2016 must be the year in which this number doubles. For those in attendance at the Conference of Reconciliation, the Syrian government has taken some important steps. A number of notable elders and representatives of reconciliation committees around Syria were in attendance. Representatives of the Syrian opposition also participated in the conference. Today, we stand together, hand in hand, in the face of terrorism. We welcome everyone, and here in front of us, we see such a large number of reconciliation committees. We welcome all and invite all to stand together. There are many people who have been led astray and become involved in armed action with the terrorists. Today we need to clarify this. Through awareness campaigns in this conference, we want to invite them to come back to civil life in the nation. Syrians today seem more determined than ever to get out of the current crisis. Through dialogue, they are doing their best to restore confidence among Syrians so they can stand together in the face of terror. Hazm Abdullah, Telesur, Syria.